Hi yogis and welcome to this vinyasa flow where we are going to challenge our balance and also do a little bit of twisting. So just start off by finding a comfortable seat, sit back on your heels if that feels good for you, that is from where we're going to start, but we're just going to start off with a few moments of stillness. So close down your eyes. Just take a short moment to observe your breath. Start taking long deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. And with every inhale just feel that you elongate all along your spine from the sitting bones to the top of your head. And with your exhale Lower your shoulder blades down your back and already start to engage that lower part of the belly by drawing your navel up and back towards the spine and lifting your pelvic floor. Just notice your weight on your mat and the contact that your body has with that surface. Take a moment to notice the sounds around you, the ones that are near and the ones that are further away. If you want to engage your ujjayi pranayama, you're more than welcome to do that now. Blink your eyes open. With your next inhale, sweep your arms up. Gaze up to see your palms touch. Lower your shoulders, but really find length throughout the body. Stretch tall. And as you exhale, lower your right arm hand to the outside of your left knee and your left fingertips land behind you. Inhale, elongate along your spine. Exhale, just rotate. Over your left shoulder, your gaze can go over your left shoulder. One more inhale to stretch tall and exhale to rotate. Inhale, sweep all the way back. Gaze up, palms to touch. Exhale, other side. Left hand to the outside of your right knee. Inhale, stretch tall and exhale to rotate. One more. Rotate just a little more. Use your core to create the rotation. Inhale, sweep back. Exhale, cactus your arms. When you do, lift your chest and really squeeze your shoulder blades together and stick your butt up and behind you. Sweep your arms forward and let your left arm come underneath your right and you find your eagle arms. It doesn't matter if they don't entirely like find each other, just find any place that is, works for you. When you do, round in, elbows to your belly, and lift up, open up, cactus your arms, lift your gaze, exhale, other arm underneath, eagle arms, round in. Inhale to open up, and cactus, exhale, eagle, and round. Once more, open, and eagle. Open, and eagle. This was the last one. So just let your arms relax by your side. From here, place your right fingertips, or actually your right palm, to the mat and stretch out your left leg to the side. Sweep your right, left arm rather, up and bring that hip up with you. Really press firmly down through your left foot 
and through your right knee so you can really press the hip forward and stretch your left arm up and over your head. You can gaze up underneath your armpit. Inhale. From here, come up to the fingertips, engage your core and lift all the way up. Left hand lands on the, uh, the left leg. Right hand sweeps up. Great work. All the way back, palm lands. Stretch tall, stretch that side body. Engage the core, lift back up. Great work. Come to center and sit back down. Left palm to the mat. Right leg stretches out. Bring your hip up with you. Sweep your right arm up and over your head. Gaze up underneath your armpit. Engage your core, find stability. Lift yourself all the way up and stretch the other side. Press down through the knee. Press your hip towards me, forward. All the way back, palm lands. Stretch the side body. And all the way back up, great work. And come back to center. Just make yourself come to a city, seated, seating position, seated position. And just gonna start by engaging your core a little bit. So come back and be on your forearms with your fingers pointing towards your, uh, your butt. Squeeze your core and kind of like tilt your pelvic just slightly under here. Stretch your legs up to the ceiling. Really strong legs here. And from here, we're just gonna lower your, our legs very, very slowly. If this feels too much, you can use one leg at a time. When you're almost down, you bring them back up just quicker. So we lower very slowly. And bring our legs back up quick. Lower slow. Draw your navel to the spine, really squeeze that lower core. Lower slow and back up. Strong legs, you can spread your toes. Back up, a couple more. Let's go for three more. Three. Two, that's one. One, actually we're gonna lower once more all the way down. Hold it slowly. And let your legs land, come up to seated and place your palms underneath your shoulders. Fingers are still pointing towards your butt. Press firmly down through the mat, engage your core and lift your hips up. Press up between your shoulders, gaze up if it feels okay. Engage your legs, engage, engage your glutes. Inhale, exhale, lower back down. Bring your soles of your feet close to you and kind of widen between your knees. So maybe you can find a motion to actually come up, lift your butt off the floor and come all the way up to a standing forward fold. Keep your legs about hip width apart. Grab hold of opposite elbow. Just hang heavily here in ragdoll for a moment. Feel free to sway from side to side, but try to challenge yourself by putting your weight just a little bit forward into your toes and lifting your sitting bones just a tiny bit higher. Really find and feel the sensations and how the back of your legs are opening and how your entire back is finding more length here. Find stillness in the middle, engage down through your feet, place your hands on your calves, inhale, lift halfway, exhale to fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up, Bring your hands up above you, palms to touch. 
exhale, hands in front of your heart. Come to the top of the mat, inhale, sweep up, find length and exhale, fold from your hip all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, bring your shoulders down the spine, exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way back up again. Palms touch, gaze up, exhale, hands in front of your heart. Inhale, sweep up, exhale to fold. Inhale, lift halfway, halfway. This time, place your palms on the outside of your feet and step back to a high plank. This is our first high plank, so make sure that you have your shoulders just above your wrists. Press firmly down through your hands, through all your fingertips, and press up between your shoulder blades. Engage your legs, squeeze your core, really press out through your heels. With your next inhale, bring your weight forward, keep your elbows in, and lower slowly to a 90 degree. Hold and press back up. We're going to do that two more times. Press forward, slow chaturanga, halfway down, short hold, press back up. Building some arm strength, forward. If it's too much, bring your knees down, hold, press back up. Next time, we're going to go all the way down, as slow as you can. Don't forget to keep your elbows in and just... Lower all the way down to the mat. Untuck your toes and widen between your feet. Place your fingertips just outside the mat and outside your shoulders, shoulder height. Squeeze your glutes, engage your legs. And with an inhale, just lift your chest. Just a tiny bit the first time, exit the lower. Inhale, lift up, exhale, lower. Inhale, a little higher this time. <clears throat> Exhale, lower. Use the muscles all along your spine to lift yourself up. Squeeze your glutes. Exhale, lower down. Palms underneath your shoulders. Bring your feet to hip width and tuck your toes. Engage your legs so that your knees lift. Engage your core. Inhale, exhale. Press back to high plank. And all the way back to our first downward facing dog. Really press down through your hands in your downward facing dog so you can find that length and that line between your hands and your hips. So lift your sitting bones, gaze towards your knees. Try to find width and space between your shoulder blades and try to let your heels strive towards the mat. With your next inhale, sweep your right leg up and back. Open the hip, bend the knee and lift the knee up to the ceiling, but keep that press through your hands and keep that steady standing leg. Inhale, lift higher. Exhale, draw your right knee to your right armpit. From here, you're going to draw like a happy mouth, go, go down and then over to your left armpit. Happy mouth back to right armpit, strong back leg, down, left armpit, back to right. And this time, draw your knee to your chest, inhale, find space, exhale, place your right foot in between your hands. Tent up onto the fingertips and place your weight into your front foot. Engage your front leg and shift forward all the way in to warrior three. Flex that back foot, press it firmly away from you like you were having a wall behind you. The hip is pointing down, toes are pointing down. Engage your core. With your next inhale, bring your left foot all the way up to the front. Just turn the 
Sweep your left leg over your right to find an eagle. Left arm underneath your right arm. Two eagle arms. Inhale, lift your elbows away from you. Squeeze your core. Exhale, lower just a little bit further. Squeeze everything to the midline here. Hold it. Find stability. From here, untangle your left leg and bring it all the way back to warrior three. Use your breath, use the stability down through your standing foot. Squeeze your core, inhale, exhale, bend your front knee and just lower your back toes slowly to the mat, find stability. And with your next inhale, lift your arms up towards the sky and exhale, lower down, bend that front knee just a little bit more, press out through the back heel, squeeze your core, untangle your arms, stretch them to the sky, inhale, find length, exhale, right arm to the back, left arm to the front to a twist. Inhale, lift your chest, stretch through the arms, exhale, lower down, but keep the engagement in the core. Inhale, exhale, frame that front foot, step back to high plank, inhale, weight forward, <clears throat> exhale, lower halfway down, inhale to upward facing dog, engage your legs, engage your core, exhale, up and back to downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. Observe your breath, observe your heartbeats. Gaze towards your knees. Inhale, come high up on your toes, gaze to the top of the mat, bend your knees and step, float, fly to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up. Gaze up, see your palms touch. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Great work, you guys. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Follow your breath. Inhale to lift halfway. Exhale, place your palms, step back to high plank. Inhale, halfway forward, just slightly on top of your toes. Exhale, halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. And exhale all the way up and back, downward facing dog. Great work, you guys. With your next inhale, sweep your left leg up and back, bend your knee and open your hip. Press firmly down through your hands, through your back heel. Inhale, stretch your left leg out. And as you exhale, bring your left knee to your left armpit. And just make that happy mouth, knee over to your right armpit. Down and back to the left. Down, up to the right. Up to the left. And this time, Stop in the middle, inhale, find space, exhale, place your left foot in front of your, or in the middle of your hands. Find stability, squeeze your core, lean in to your left foot and lift up to a warrior three. Draw your shoulder blades down the back, flex that back foot. Really press down through your left foot. Lift the back leg just a tiny bit more. And with your next inhale, right leg comes forward and over and twirl it around. Right arm comes under, eagle arms. Inhale, lift your elbows, but keep your shoulders down. Squeeze your core, exhale, lower just a little bit lower. Really squeeze your thighs together, squeeze your arms together. Find your center. 
untangle your top leg and slowly bring it all the way back to warrior three. Find stability, find a point where you can place your gaze. Squeeze your core, inhale, exhale, lower slowly. Inhale, lift your eagle arms towards the sky. Exhale, bend that front knee, lower just a little bit deeper. Untangle your arms, stretch them up, find length through your side body. And as you exhale, left arm back, right arm forward. Inhale, lift your chest, squeeze your core. Exhale, bend that front knee. Inhale, exhale. Frame that front foot, step back to high plank. Inhale, weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lift up and back. Do it upward facing dog. Exhale, to downward facing dog. With your next inhale, come high up on your toes, gaze towards your navel and round your spine. And make a big wave to high plank. Exhale, lift your tail and draw yourself back to downward facing dog. Two more times, round forward. Inhale and exhale, roll it back. Once more, inhale forward. Exhale, roll it back. Inhale forward. This time, as you exhale, lower your knees almost down to the mat. From here, press the mat away, round your spine, gaze towards your navel, squeeze your core. Let's hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Lower both knees down, untuck your toes, sit back on your heels, <sighs> hands on your thighs, close down your eyes. Take a couple of breaths. Observe your breath and observe your heartbeats. Just notice the difference from when we started. Blink your eyes open. And just come forward to a to all fours. From here, with an inhale, engage your core un, or tuck your toes rather. And with your exhale, lift yourself up and back to downward facing dog. Adjust the length of your downward facing dog if needed. Press the mat away. Inhale, come high up on the, your toes. Gaze between your hands, bend your knees. Jump, step, float, fly to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Gaze up, see your palms touch. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. We're gonna add on, inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale to lift halfway. Exhale, plant your palms, step back to high plank. Inhale, weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga, halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Engage your glutes, engage your legs. Exhale, up and back to downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your right leg up. And bend your knees, knee, open your hip, exhale, right knee to right uh, armpit, sweep it down and up to the left armpit, back to right, over to left, last time to right, and from here down into the middle, inhale, create space and exhale, right foot in between your hands. Lean into your right foot, find the stability, press up into warrior three. One breath here. And with your next inhale, bring your left foot forward, 
Find your eagle legs and your eagle arms. Lower down, exhale. Inhale, lift your elbows and squeeze everything to the center line. Untangle your left leg and sweep it all the way back to warrior three. Keep your eagle arms. Inhale, exhale, bend the front knee, lower the back toes. Inhale, lift up. Really engage through your spine and untangle your arms, hands to the sky. Inhale, create length. Exhale to twist, right arm back, left arm forward. Inhale, reverse the twist. So left arm sweeps up, right arm to the, on the back leg. From here, sweep your left arm down, place your fingertips just next to your right foot. Sweep your right arm up to the sky. Gentle twist. If this feels good, you can start to straighten your front leg into a modified reverse triangle or twisted triangle, sorry. See if you can gaze to your hand with your left eye. Inhale, exhale, frame your front foot. Step both foot, feet to the front of the mat, hip width apart. And just relax down to a forward fold. Just a short second. With your next inhale, sweep your left leg up to a standing split. If you want here, if you feel like jumping, taking a couple of um, jumps into your handstand, you feel free to do that. Or you can just stay in the standing split if that is what you feel like doing. Otherwise, you can take a few hops into your handstand. Maybe find some hang time. And if you're in your handstand, lower down and lower your left foot far to the back of the mat. Place both palms to the mat, step back, high plank, inhale, weight forward. Exhale, halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale, lift up, lift your chest, lift your gaze to upward facing dog. Exhale, lift yourself up and back to downward facing dog. Inhale, high up on your toes, gaze between your hands, engage your legs, engage your core, bend your knee, jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift halfway, shoulder blades far down the, your back. Exhale, lower. Inhale, sweep up, gaze up. Exhale, hands in front of your heart, lower your shoulders. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, twofold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, place your palms. Maybe jump all the way back if you do, land in chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Great work, you guys. Couple of breaths here. Inhale, sweep your left leg up and back. Bend your knee, open the hip. Lift the knee to the ceiling, press the mat away. Exhale, left knee to left armpit. Bring it down, over to right armpit. Down to left armpit. Use your back leg here, make it really strong. Back to left, this time knee to the middle. Inhale, create space, round your back. Exhale, foot in between your hands. Weight into that foot. Step forward, warrior three. Lower your shoulders down your back, flex that back foot and bring your back leg forward. Find your eagle legs and your eagle arms. Lower down, squeeze your thighs together, inhale, lift your elbows, but your shoulders stay down. From here, untangle your top leg and bring it all the way back to warrior three. Keep your eagle arms. 
squeeze your core, inhale, and exhale to lower slowly down. Inhale, use your core to lift your arms. Untangle your arms, hands to the sky. Inhale, create length, exhale to twist. Inhale, lift your chest, exhale, lower down. Inhale, reverse the twist, right arm up, left hand to the back of the thigh. From here, right arm, fingertips to the floor, left arm up. Just if you feel like this is enough, lower your hip to find a twist. Or if you want more of a, the modified <laughs> twisted triangle, you can straighten that front leg and gaze up towards your hand. Try to see if you can gaze towards your fingers with your right eye. Inhale, exhale, frame your foot, step to the front of the mat, hip width apart. Inhale, lift halfway, exhale to fold forward. Just a little breather here. Now inhale, lift halfway, place your fingertips and lean into your left leg. Sweep your right leg up and back. Elongate through the spine, exhale, fold over that standing leg. Lift your back leg just a little tiny bit more. And if you tried the handstand hops on the other side, feel free to do that on this side. Remember that it's the base leg that is doing the kicking and the top leg is basically just hanging there. This is a great way to get your hips above your shoulders, which is the trick to finding your handstand. If you're in your handstand or hopping, lower down, lower the back foot to the back of the mat. Let the front foot follow, find high plank. Inhale, weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga halfway. Inhale, lift up, upward facing dog. Exhale, up and back to downward facing dog. With the next inhale, come high up on the toes. Gaze between your hands. Bend your knees, engage your core. Jump, step. Fly, take a handstand to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, twofold. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Gaze up, see your palms touch. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. And from here, just heel toe your feet out slightly. And continue lowering all the way down into Malasana. Feel free to make any types of movements or wiggles, but try to lift your chest and gently press those knees out using your elbows. Squeeze your core, never let go of that squeeze and that lift of the pelvic floor. Lower your left hand fingertips to the mat and, mat and sweep your right arm to the sky. Lift your chest. Find length along your spine, inhale, spread your chest wide, exhale, back to center. Right fingertips down, inhale, sweep your left arm up. Gaze up towards your left hand and exhale all the way back down. Lower your butt to the floor. Stretch your legs out to a wide straddle position. Inhale, lift your chest and exhale, just gently fold forward. Just stop here, wherever you feel that you cannot keep the integrity of your spine when you start to round your spine instead of having length throughout your spine, that is when you stop and you find the position that just, that spot just before you need to round in, 
and you stay there and you engage your legs by pressing your heels down. Squeeze your core and lift yourself back up. Find the diamond shape of your legs, so place your, the soles of your feet together. You can have quite a space in between, so you don't need to bring your heels all the way to your groin. Lift up, inhale, exhale. Just gently fold forward. This could be quite intense, so stop wherever it feels that you have reached your limit of intensity and just leave it there. You can close down your eyes. You can start sending your breath to those spaces, places in your body where you feel the most sensations. Try to stick your butt out just a little bit. Inhale, lift yourself back up. Place the soles of your feet to the mat. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your gaze, arms forward and up. Exhale, round in, lower slowly down. All the way down. And then bring your knees in with you towards your chest. And from here, stretch your left leg straight out. Place your right, no, the, the left hand rather on the outside of your right thigh. And bring your right knee all the way over to the left side. You can stretch out your right hand to the floor, the right arm to the floor. If you want to, you can cactus the arm, but try to gaze out over your right shoulder. Don't forget to find some engagement in that left leg. That could help with the twist. With your next inhale, squeeze your core and bring your knees all the way back to center. Stretch out your right leg right hand on the outside of your left knee, left arm to the floor, exhale, left knee all the way over to the right side, gaze over your left shoulder. Inhale, engage your core, bring the, your knees all the way back to center, give them a squeeze. And then stretch your legs all the way up towards the ceiling. Engage your core. Bring, really try to press down the lower back to the mat. Inhale, and as you lower, lower your legs super slow. And engage your legs. Really squeeze your quads. Press out through your toes. Slowly, when you need, want to let go, you engage more. And finally, all the way down. Place your feet but mat width apart and just let them fall out to the sides. Let your arms rest along your body with your palms facing up. Just take one deep inhale together and exhale through the mouth. Inhale, exhale. Two more times like that. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And with your last exhale, really feel how your entire body is relaxing down on the mat. Just try to scan through your body and feel how that beautiful feeling of rest and ease is spreading from your toes up through the soles of your feet to your ankles and your calves and your knees. 
It spreads through your thighs and through your hips and through your entire back body and your entire front body. Now this feeling spreads through your neck, up through the back of your head and through your entire face and just smooths everything out. Just take this short moment to appreciate that you have nothing left to do right now, nothing to manage. Slowly make yourself aware of the space around you. Take a moment to observe your breath, the movement of your breath in your body and just feel your body breathing. Then start to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Create some movements in your ankles and your wrists, up through your arms and your legs. And then slowly bring one knee at a time in towards your chest. Just squeeze your legs and make sure your entire spine is in contact with the mat. And when you feel ready, just make your way to a seated position. Keep your eyes closed. And just sit comfortably on your mat. Create length through your spine and lower your shoulder blades down. Let your palms meet in front of your chest. Just take a short moment to thank yourself for creating time for this today, for this investment in yourself, in your body, in your mind, in your breath. Blink your eyes open. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope to see you soon again. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.